Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll learn how to add a host to your Cacti server. So let's go ahead and uh, add a cac add a host to our Cacti server. Okay, uh, my Cacti server is hosted at uh, 0.120 and if you go there in the management, uh, you would uh, see uh, the devices site and trees over there on the sub menu click on the devices uh, on the right hand side you will see all this uh, uh, hosts or devices that has been added to the cacti server right so we'll be adding a windows host uh, today uh, to sorry not windows we'll be adding a linux host today uh, on our cacti server so before adding uh, the linux host what we have to do is we have to install snmp and uh, configure snmp so that uh, make sure that can cacti can uh, communicate it to uh, it uh, to that device on snmp all right so let's go ahead uh, this is my linux server and i have to install uh, snmp on it this is a ubuntu server so uh, let me install snmp snmpd and so apt install snmp snmpd snmp mips rrd tool let's install that snmp and snmpd are installed now so let's uh, see the configuration file etc snmp snmpd dot conf okay so your sys location um, i'll let it be that uh, then we'll just change my email id over here minus dot tri at the red gmail dot com perfect say service 72 master agent x agent address 127 0001 right and uh, we have to change this to our uh, server ip as well so let me do that now itself comma our server ip is 192 168 right so the agent will be listening on this port so my current uh, target server ip is 192 168 dot 0 dot 110 let's go ahead it is uh, saying us only a uh, system uh, it, it can display on the public uh, uh, community only be able to source system statistics we want everything right so what we'll do is right so sorry i should do that for this one so let me do that let me remove this piece we are ready now now start the snmpd service system ctl start SNMPD. Now let's uh, see the status. It is running. 
so i'll do a snmp work uh, the snmp work command uh, is uh, you have to give the version uh, our version default version is 2c and then the community string hyphen c for the community string uh, we have used uh, public so we'll give that and then we have to give this uh, host name so we are giving local host let us see that yeah it is responding uh, to our query so we should be fine now So let us go to the Cacti server. I'll just copy the IP of this server. So that is 192.168.0.110. Okay. Click on this, add, give a description. Kubernetes, Kubernetes master, right. And this is on the IP. Okay, uh, essentially we are not doing uh, the uh, FQDN to IP conversion here. So I'm giving the direct IP here, right. A location on my laptop, right main polar da, da, da. then we should use our template let me see that template so version 2 public okay and uh, then the id device template right so we'll use uh, this one local linux machine right so you'll use this template for the linux machine and then hit the create button the save is successful so it is saying uh, the system snmp error it cannot get the output from 192.168.0.110 right so let us see why is that happening okay come over here to the cacti server okay and uh, let us give this and give cacti server ip sorry the kubernetes server ip and see what is happening yeah definitely it is not able to reach that so let me see the ping it's working fine let's do the telnet telnet Connection refused. Let's check if it is responding to uh, the uh, a port number of SNMP. It is not right. We'll try to run SNMP work again. Let's see. Yeah, SNMP work is giving us the in, uh, the outputs. One ninety two, one sixty eight dot zero dot one one zero. Yeah, it is uh, also listening over this IP. So let's uh, let's check what is happening with the Cacti server. Why it is not able to communicate to it? Before that, uh, we'll see the net start command once to see lp grape hyphen snmp. So, as you can see, it is uh, exposing, it is open this port 161 on this IP. So, 
it should work okay one six one so it is connection refused so let's see go to cacti server again try to save it and see if it is getting the information or not you can see it is getting information this information if i uh, increase the font you can see uh, the contact me here right manage.tr at the red gmail.com and host name k test master right now the device has been added okay now you have to go ahead uh, let's see uh, let me refresh it let me switch back the font size okay kubernetes master is added let us go to the go go down and see uh, what are the associated uh, data queries and uh, templates right so these are the default uh, tem uh, default uh, graph templates added to uh, this particular uh, host template and these are the data queries added to this template you can refresh it data query re indexed fine so let's go up let's go to the graph list so you can see it here select all of them okay uh, these are the graphs that has been um, okay so you can uh, uh, do a uh, like do all these action on this uh, uh, on this graphs okay so what i'll do is uh, i'll let's say i'll put it on uh, demo tree okay all these graphs root okay continue save successful let's go to the graphs we have put it on demo tree let us see where is our server here is our server okay so it is started uh, pulling the uh, uh, pulling the information all right so we'll have to wait for some more time to see uh, these all these uh, graphs to be populated all right and uh, that's it uh, that's it for uh, today's video thank you Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.